Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our echocardiography rates review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if you don't have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. What does this waveform represent? A. Pulses paradoxes. B. Electrical alternance. C. Valvular inflow respirations. Or D. Pulses alternance. The answer is A, pulses paradoxus. What is the most common cause of cardiac tamponade? A, malignancy, B, pericardial infection, C, idiopathic, or D, genetics? The answer is C, idiopathic. And idiopathic means that the cause of a disease is unknown. Which best describes what a xenograft is made from? A. Fascia lata, B. Cow, C. Dura matter, or D. Other humans? The answer is B. Cow. Which is used first during a chemical stress test to evaluate low-grade aortic stenosis? A. Amyl nitrate. B. Adenosine, C. Dobutamine, or D. Atropine? The answer is C. Dobutamine. Click on the right coronary artery. The RCA is right here. So anywhere along here is correct. Patients who have a pseudo aortic stenosis will have a causal link of what? A. Systolic dysfunction, B. Systemic hypertension, C. Left ventricular hypertrophy, or D. Pulmonic stenosis. The answer is A. Systolic dysfunction. What does this waveform represent? A. Pulsus paradoxus, B. Pulsus by Geminis, C. Pulsus bispherians, or D. Pulsus alternance? The answer is B. Pulsus by Geminis. What is the most common cause of cardiomyopathy? A. Genetics, B. Hypertension, C. Idiopathic, or D. Aortic stenosis. The answer is C. Idiopathic. What is the most common cause of an infiltration of the left ventricle with restrictive pathology? A. Genetics, B. Sarcoidosis, C. Idiopathic, or D. Amyloidosis. The answer is D. Amyloidosis. What more commonly develops after a myocardial infarction? A. Ventricular septal defect, B. Pericardial effusion, C. Arrhythmia, or D. Aneurysm. The answer is C, arrhythmia. What does this waveform represent? A, pulses paradoxus, B, pulses by Geminis, C, pulses bispherians, or D, pulses alternates. The answer is C, pulses bispherians. What type of artifact is caused by a St. Jude bileaflet mechanical valve? A. Cometel, B. Acoustic enhancement, C. Reverberation, or D. Ring down.
The answer is C, reverberation. What is the most common cause of pulmonary hypertension? A, genetics, B, tricuspid regurgitation, C, idiopathic, or D, pulmonic stenosis? The answer is C, idiopathic. And again, idiopathic means that the cause of a disease is unknown. What does this waveform represent? A, pulses paradoxes, B, electrical alternance, C, valvular inflow variations, or D, pulses alternance? The answer is D, pulses alternance. What causes color speckle artifacts during an echocardiogram? A, high-grade stenosis, B, valvular calcification, C, low attenuating areas, or D, high color gain? The answer is D, high color gain. Drag and drop the letter X on the innominate artery. So this image is pretty tricky because the innominate artery or the brachiocephalic artery is right here. Then this is the left common carotid artery and this is the left subclavian artery. This is just an artifact. The left subclavian artery doesn't start this low on the aortic arch. Let's put it right there. What does this waveform demonstrate? A, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, B, cardiac tamponade, C, left ventricular systolic dysfunction, or D, aortic regurgitation. The answer is B, cardiac tamponade, and this waveform is pulsus paradoxus. An IVC clot is more commonly caused by what? A, angiosarcoma, B, renal cell carcinoma, C, idiopathic, or D, familial. The answer is B, renal cell carcinoma. Anytime you hear the word familial, that's the same thing as genetics or something that was passed down from your parents. What does this waveform demonstrate? A. Hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. B. Cardiac tamponade. C. Left ventricular systolic dysfunction. Or D. Aortic regurgitation. The answer is A, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, and this waveform represents pulsus bigeminus. Which is not a limitation in a psychocardiogram? A, measuring left atrial size, B, measuring peak gradients, C, evaluating mitral regurgitation, or D, evaluating diastolic function. This patient has a mechanical aortic valve, which will make it hard, based on this ultrasound, makes it hard to measure the left atrial size, because once we go to the apical four chamber view, you can see that there are artifacts here inside the left atrium, so it'd be hard to measure the size, the correct size of the left atrium. It will also be hard to measure or evaluate mitral regurgitation from other artifacts. Evaluating diastolic function is out of the question, but you can get accurate peak gradients. What is the most common cause of systemic hypertension? A, aortic stenosis, B, left ventricular hypertrophy, C, idiopathic, or D, genetic?
The answer is C, idiopathic. What is the most common mechanical complication that develops after a myocardial infarction? A, ventricular septal defect, B, pericardial effusion, C, arrhythmia, or D, aneurysm? The answer is D, aneurysm. So pay attention to the wording of each question because this is saying the most common mechanical complication. The most common complication is definitely an arrhythmia, but the most common mechanical complication is an aneurysm. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming echo boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-165. If you're looking for extra study material, Go to my website by typing in Google Ultrasound Board Review. Click at the top here. Click Enter the Pass Zone. Scroll down until you see Echocardiography Mock Exams. Click on that. Scroll down and then click Subscribe. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardView.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.